Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Pendragon where today we're gonna start once again an epic difficulty campaign we're doing another run but this time we are going to pick a character that is able to fight at the beginning of the game and we'll go for Lady Rhiannon the powerful and reckless sorceress once of Camelot so I want to play with her I'm not sure what I'll do with Merlin, I need more experience, maybe we'll do a run in the future, but for now, let's get this started. Atop Torres' moor, on the windswept summit of Torres Moor, the Lady Ryanon has been camping, slipping under a brower of brambles, her sword across her knees. She has been trying to decide which fight to fight next. The answer when it comes to her is clear. Mordred. A black wolf paces out from between the dotted rocks. That petty bilge bucket is the rot of all this. The wolf crosses the moor, moving like the moonlight through shifting leaves. I'll cut his neck while he's trying to get up the courage to talk to me. If Merlin was here, he'd be right at home. Let's see. This is the sort of place where stories come to an end. Okay. Charge through bushes. Charge through a bush or other blockage. I was raised in wild places. So I could go here, but we'd be attacked if we were to do that. Well, let's do this. Actually, I want... A higher ground. There's no higher ground around here. Guess I'll do this then. The wolf whines as he turns about where he stands. Okay. And he attacked diagonally. Uh, no. Okay, but he. We'll do this for now. Nice. Another wolf whines as it twists its worry body. I think I might just go through here. He might change position. If I go through him, he might change position. I want to see if I can do anything here. Random dodges through a thick clump of ours. Okay. Oh, uh, he is able to attack us there. See, interesting. Let's hold our position just for one turn. See what he does. There's got to be a, a way. There's got to be. Okay, we can go like that. Lady Rana is scratched by thorns as she cuts down the bramble. I think I need to do something like this. There's no way past. Okay. And then I'll move up here. Later I'll hack through a bush. Let's see. And then I'll go around here. I think I see a way through. The other wolf is tracing the movement of Lady Rhiannon, but it has stumbled into Rhiannon's path. Perhaps it is known that Lady Rhiannon is almost away. I could attack him, but at this point, just completing the board is totally fine. The way north of here is treacherous. It's a short ride to the Tower of Balin. They say that Morgana holds those walls. An evil witch, if ever there was one. I have need of her cruel tongue now. The wolves scattered. At the end of the day, there's no point in actually fighting this, this wolf, so if we just make it safe, it's fine. Near at hand, Lairdy Rhiannon finds a horse hitched. I'll call you Longbread. Longbread, we go, Camlan awaits. Okay, we're at the bottom of the, of the map. Yeah, we can go and see if we can recruit Morgana. Here. The Tower of Balian. And what was here? A fearsome castle controlled by a quiet lady. 
Okay, well, we'll head that way. This is already going a lot better than it did last time, right? At the Tower of Balian, through the darkness, Lady Rhiannon reaches the gates. This is supposed to be the hiding place of Morgana. Longbreed begins to whine and fret. Morgana, are you here? The stones are cold. I heard something. Well, we have a bear. I'm ready for you, wherever you are. The bear paces forward, unaware that it has emerged in Lady Rhiannon's path. Uh, let's go over here. I am thinking the high ground. Did you murder Morgana? I can't imagine she would run from you. Well, the bear moves into Lady Rhiannon's path, and we're gonna take care of it. <laughs> and that is the end of the bear. I will be rid of this place. I can see the dolmen of the ladies from here. Once a place of worship, but now a lot about it. People used to travel that way to reach Torium's morgue. The road now feels dark. She lowers her sword. Mm. I need to keep going. Ride through the night if need be. Morgana is out there somewhere, and I will find her. Nothing and no one will stop me. I will reach Camlan, whatever the cost. So we can either go... Uh, I guess I cannot go to Tabellion's Deep. Let's go to the Dolmen of the Ladies. The final watch of the first night. At the Dolmen of the Ladies, the open heartland of the Dolmen of the Ladies is bare now. But once it was a village, the stone that still protrude from the dirt are carved with spirals and swirls. There are ghosts here. I feel them. Are there now? That looks like a wolf. One day Camelot will be like this. Through the rain a wolf emerges. Okay. Perhaps this was a sacred place. Ah, yeah, nice, she can charge through. Ha! Lady Rhino strikes hard at the wolf, killing it with ferocity and skill. If Merlin were here, he would speak of these stones. Definitely a lot better than last time. But Merlin ain't here, and I just wandered these stones, killing wild animals. Animals. Lady Rhino sheaths her blade. She calls out at long breed. Otters over. And Lady Rhiannon pulls the Dolmen of the Ladies quickly behind. What is next? Okay, go there. I don't see any other way, so let's go to the nearby village. We're losing a bit of morale and we don't have any food. Daybreak of the second day. Lady Rhiannon rides through the long night until the sunrise comes. The rain does not lessen. From the dolmen of the ladies, the path winds downhill towards Wayne's village. This place seems strangely empty. Where is everyone? This stinks. Suddenly, a knight walks out from between the two empty houses. Hold fast. Will I be attacked if I go forward? You'd better talk, stranger. What's your business here? What happened? Is this your doing? That I do not know. But listen, are you riding for Camelot? Does the Red Dragon of Pendragon fly again? Soon, I hope. But not today. Not yet. There is a viper wrapped around the neck of Camelot which must be defanged. Mordred? Mordred. The red dragon is lacking his teeth. I am riding for Camelot and King Arthur. Will you join me, knight? Will you take arms against Mordred and his kind? Gladly. 
a mere banner knight. I fight the colors of Camelot and the Rising Sun. I am Sir Ewan. And will you be loyal to the bitterest of ends? I shall. I bow it. Good. I will be loyal until death. Great. So Lady Rhiannon rides north with Sir Ewan clo following closely behind. Lady Rhiannon had been ready to ride to Camelot alone, but now she has the beginning of an army at her back. Or a sacrificial pawn? Depends on. Edix Crossroads. Okay, we'll go here. See where it takes us next. Can we hope to make it to Arthur in time? We have no choice but to hope, Sir Ewan. But is hope enough? I heard peasants talk of Mordred as a savior. They call him honest. Listen to me. People change their minds like the weather. What seems strong today will seem foolish tomorrow. And Arthur? Will he seem foolish? Never. Don't lose your hope, Sir Ewan. I will sustain you. Roof's Brook. It's apparent to us that that is the only way forward. Very unfortunate. What if we're too late to Camelot? What if the Battle of Camelot is already over? If Arthur had fallen, the trees would have died, the sky would thunder, and the birds would fly away and not return. Arthur is not dead. This morale is going up. Sunset on the second day. The sun is slipping away, the deep chill fog shows no signs of lifting. Lady Rhiannon and Sir Ivan quickly reach Roof's Brook. It is squeezed in the fold of a tight valley. There is only one path in, one way out. But the spirits are high. Yes, they are. Okay, rats, a nearby splash. Show yourself. Okay, it seems like they are taking the resolve as well. Okay, definitely a whole lot better to be able to fight. So much easier. I see you, beast. Great. Two rats stare each into each other, ripping and clawing until one lies dead. And then, when two fight, the third wins. <laughs> Let's get out of this muck. Ooh. You won't pass. It's you. Lady Rhiannon prepares to strike down a rude rogue and to clear the path from away from Rook's Brook. Okay. Oh, let's hold still for one turn. I go through here. The road north, it's here. We take a toll from people passing through Roof's Brook. You know what? We'll take care of bandits. <laughs> this is the last of them. Good. A path as we fought. I remember this road from the maps. It leads to the Abbey of Gilbert's Rest. I've heard that Sir K Rizarus is there now. Lady Rhiannon sheds her blade. Sir Ewan walks over to Lady Rhiannon. I'm glad I'm your, on your side. But you don't have to fight alone. We will win this together. If you can keep up. Hey, we got an extra meal, that is great. Lady Rhiannon and Sir Ewan take the road together. To... I'm guessing this is the next target. A fearsome castle controlled by a quiet lady, like we could go there or I could try to see if Sir Kay is around. But we can't reach it in one go, so I guess Levain's Wood is next. This way. In the veins woods, the darkness has gathered in once more. Fear creeps in. Lady Rhiannon does not know how long it is until Arthur and Mordred are to meet. After many hours, the pair arrive at Levain's woods. 
halt between two towering crags. There is no escaping from here. The only road leads through, but spirits are high. So, father, hunting in the forest as a child was a waste of time, was it? In the darkness, something is pushing its way through the undergrowth. Uh, yeah, we know they can attack Dagnar. Playing in the forest, I learned to keep my balance. When the roots want no better than to trip you up. Ooh, ooh. Red spider has reached the edge of the forest where Sir Evan is reckoned unaware. It gores him with a pincer. Play the Ryan and do not let more dead prevail. Rats. I mean, what were, what could have we have done, really? And I learned enough to keep me alive at least. I will end you, slowly or quickly, that we will see. Or there is a pig in a suit of armor. The breaking of branches. Actually, yeah, no, let's take the high ground. After we have buried you, we will take Taurus more. We will spare no one. Let's go in the water. Come to me. Okay, so we can't do that. I'll be going this way then. Lady Rhyna, this is Lavaine's woods. There is the last place you will ever see. Okay, let's wait. We are loyal to Britain, to Sir Mordred. Okay, so that guy can reach as far as this point. Tell me this, where is Camlan? Nor for Pentref Tref Moor. But do not think you will see it. You will be killed and your body is tossed in a whale. It will be the most distressing. And we will ride north to the crooked fortress of the Hollow Rock. And there I will use your knuckle bones as dice to win a fortune from my idiot comrades. Um, can we attack here? No, we cannot. I will change the position then. This fortress arrived. You don't need to stand in your path. Step aside. He can attack diagonally. So no matter what we do, we'll be attacked. Yeah, we caught ourselves in a pinch there. Rats! They caught us good. Should have played this. Oh, this is a fast knight. Charge through bushes, attack diagonally. Yeah, should have played this much more careful than that. Yeah, unfortunately, you follow Sir Mordred. I would sooner follow a pig into a barn. Um, Sir Mordred is the king now. We follow the king. This guy can do too many things. I mean, either way, whatever we do, we will be attacked here. Okay. I'll do this again. I will not make things easy for you, Knight of Sir Mordred. I have you, Lady Renan. Okay, and we can... If we move here, we're attacked. If we move here, we're attacked. I don't know. We need to move forward either way. <laughs> We got caught there. This is like a checkmate for us. I strike for more dread. There is no one left to stop the fast knight. Single sword thrust, the Lady Renan from body is all it takes to finish her off. Close by, Sir Iren is not moving. There is no one left to fight. The dream of Camelot is done. Once again we've lost here, but we're gonna try again and again. Let's see. I want... I want to win. I want to win on this difficulty. I am not going lower than epic. And I'm gonna keep playing with her. Let's try this again.
we'll skip the text we've been through here before. So, more than another fight with a black wolf. And okay, let's change our position, be ready to attack. Maybe they will make their way forward or something. Yeah, no, that, that doesn't work. Okay. Mm. Let's go back here. Here he comes. Nice. So one of them is down, creeps through a heavy hawthorn, then leaps on the wolf. Okay. I'm going to change into this and we'll escape. I think I see a way through. The wolf closes in on Lady Rhiannon. And with this we're out of the woods. It's a short ride from the chapel of Saint Fiachna. They say Guinevere ta has taken sanctuary there. I have need of her strength now. The remaining black wolf disappears in fright and Lady Rhiannon sheets her blade. Near at hand, Radio Lennon finds a horse hitched to a tree, she unhooks the rein. Long shanks, we will call it. Here's some castle said to be held by a quiet lady. It keeps shows us that castle. Makes me wanna go this way. But let's see if we can find Guinevere. Um, secondary hand would be awesome plus I think with Guinevere being a main character even though we might die with Lady Rannon we can we can continue with Guinevere through the darkness Lady Rannon reaches the gates of the chapel of Saint Fiacha this is supposed to be the hiding place of Guinevere let's see Longshanks begins Guinevere, are you here? There's blood on the flagstones. What was that? So it was a bear. Come on, bear. Move forward. Don't move forward that way. I can see the forest door. The locals tell stories of monsters in these woods. People used to go that way, but not anymore. A bear appears facing Lady Rain. Yeah, we'll attack it, and we'll be done with the map. And that is the end of the bear. The remaining bear disappears in fright. Lady Renan press sheets her sword and we'll need to keep going. Whenever is out there somewhere and I will find her. Nothing and no one is going to stop me. We will reach Kamala, Kamlan, whatever the cost. I guess I want to go this way. Let's see what that castle is about. Like it, we keep seeing it when we played with her. So the final watch of the first night in the dell of the tree, Trerin, between the chapel of Saint Fiacha and Sierran Fields, lies the dark sprawl of the dell of Trerin. Villagers from Sierran Fields venture here, hunting for deer and rabbit. Kieran, is it Red Kieran? Seems quiet here. This stinks. Okay, let's get up here. Back at Camelot, we hunted boars in woods like this. An army of riders with a pack of dogs. The tramp of boots and someone shifting. Let's see. Show yourself. So, father, hunting in the forest was a waste of time, huh? My name is Sir John. Will you follow me, knight? There's safety in numbers, there must be. And will be loyal to the bitterness of ants. You're a chief of salt, short, aren't you? Off we go then. Well, that was easy. And so Lady Ren rides north with Sir John following close behind. Good.
Tyrion Fields. Okay, is that everything we saw? Nope. Let's go to Agravain's Burial Grounds. Lost some health, lost some morale, but what can we do? We ride on. And we'll do this encounter and then I'll put a cut in the episode and come back tomorrow. Daybreak on the second day, at the Agravain's burial ground, Lady Rhinon and Sir John ride through the long night until the sunrise comes. A warm rain begins to fall. The rolling grass of Agravain's burial ground covers a ring of ancient stone. It was once a burial ground for a people now forgotten. Now it is home only to vermin and angry specters. Yeah, let's bring her forward. This is a burial place. I wonder who they were. Okay, hopefully they will fight between each other. The rain shows no signs of stopping. The rat rears up glaring at Lady Rhiannon. Oh, I can just do this. Enough of this. Enough of you. Another attack. I want to get away from here. I do not like rats. Nice. Ha! Lady Rhiannon strikes again, sending another rat into the dirt. Now we have a badger. And I think the badger can attack... Yeah, they do have the shoulder bash. Probably... Yeah, calling him forward. How do you fancy killing a badger, Sir John? These badgers, I mean they're as big as dogs. Uh, what does the badger do? Sir John, what are you doing? This feels like a bad idea. Yep, no it isn't. Ha! Nice. Later on cast out the badger in one stroke. Another badger? Really? Then what I'll do is... I'll do this. And then I'll come here, and I think we could charge. Sir John, don't dally now. The badger squeezes between two rocks and disappears. Great. So, yeah. We could have charged earlier. A path as we thought. I know this road. It runs to the winding keep of Grumor. Home of Sir Gawain. If he hasn't drunk himself to death. Lady Rhiannon sheets her blade. Follow me, Sir John. By the moon and all the stars. That was quite a display. How do you feel? Does it get easier? I hope it gets easier. Okay, so we can... We can go here and try to find Sir Gawain. Yeah, we'll definitely need to go to the village first, but that will have to happen tomorrow. Until then, I hope you're still enjoying this. If you do, don't forget to like a series or subscribe to the channel if you want to keep in touch to the series I put out. And if you have any feedback, either via the email or via the comments below, would love to hear your thoughts on the game. Until tomorrow, I wish you all to have a wonderful day.